Today on Q&A Mondays, we are talking about when and when not to use sealant on a metal roof installation. What's up guys? Welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. Welcome to Q&A Mondays. Check out all the questions we are talking about today in the description. Today we're discussing when and when not to use sealant in a metal roofing installation. I got Tim Murphy, Jeff Hawk here, back on the episode today. Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for having us. So let's start with different types of sealant. Tell me about uh, what types of sealant you guys see and what are typically used in a metal roofing installation. Probably the two main types of sealants you're gonna see is gun caulking sealant, where it comes in a tube, and the second one that's most common is going to be a tape sealant. So your gun sealant um, is going to be a polyurethane, a tri uh, tripolymer, uh, silicone. Um, all of them have their places. Uh, you just want to make sure that they are used and made for metal roofing. Okay. Uh, you know that's so that's number one. You know your tape sealants, they're going to be for metal to metal connections, things like that. Uh, your gun caulking can be curable or non curing sealants, depending on the application that you're using. But those are probably the, the three main specific types of sealants that you're going to see in a metal roof system. When do you use uh, each type of, of sealant? I, I know you just talked about metal to metal connections with butyl. Can we talk a little bit about you know our metal roofing assemblies, our details, and, and kind of what that looks like? Okay, so well, with tape sealants, again, metal to metal connections, anytime you have a Z closure, anytime you have an offset cleat, and those work by compression. So you have your base metal, uh, then your say a Z closure, you have a piece of butyl tape in between it, that gets fastened off every four inches on center and that creates a compression seal between the two pieces of metal. Uh, we suggest going four inches on center because when you put a fastener through butyl tape, it compresses it out two inches on each side. Okay. So that way you, if you stay at four inches on center, you have a complete seal along the whole area that you're fastening off. Um, when it comes to gun caulking, uh, you'll see that we use it in between the panel seams, stop any anti-siphoning down by the eave. Uh, we use it on any of our laps where you lap the metal from, you know, 10 foot pieces. You have your ridge caps, side, uh, side walls, head walls. You know, it, again, anywhere that you have a metal to metal connection that's not going to be fastened off, say, with a fastener where you would use a tape sealant. And uh, penetrations, pipe boots? Penetrations, I like to use... Uh, butyl tape underneath the pipe boot mm -hmm. because you're going to be fastening that down to the metal panel at the top of the pipe boot You can use the uh, gun caulking, gotcha. you know, and then you're going to put a pipe in around that to keep it from sagging You know, those are the those are the main points of you know where you're going to use it All of our details call out where sealant should be applied how it should be applied the specific types of sealant the specific types of tape the sizes um, Everything's pretty well detailed in the installation details. So does caulking come in different colors, Tim? Yeah, in she at Sheffield we sell any color that we have on our color card has a corresponding um, caulking to go with it. You know, the, the tapes don't come in any color, it's gray, so you're not gonna get options there, but again, the tape should be underneath the piece of metal so you shouldn't see it. Um, the same thing with the sealant, it's either in between the panel seams, it's in a lap, it is behind a Z closure that is tight against the vertical legs of the panel. You know, we offer the color options because some of our customers prefer that, but you know, it also comes in clear. Clear is a pretty popular color because um, you can stock it and not have to worry about matching to your next job. Yeah. Um, but again, most of the time you're not going to see the sealant because it is a secondary defense and it, you know, shouldn't be oozing out of places. There are times, though, that you do use it in architectural reasons. If there are voids in certain connections against different uh, substrates or different, um, you know, materials, right? I don't know. Like a counter flashing on a sidewall, yeah. like a surface mount counter flashing or something right. like that. Um, you know, we do run a bead of sealant across the top. It, we have tape as the secondary defense on that. Sure. Um, but, you know, the color caulking would match the trim so it doesn't stick out. Yeah. Say if you're using, you know, a standard gray color caulk or something like that um, on a painted roof system. So that leads us into our next question. When should you not use sealant? I mean, you shouldn't use sealant when you could be using metal in its place. You know, if you have a large gap, say between your Z closure and the vertical leg of your panel, you don't just want to fill it full of caulk. You want to put a Z closure in that fits properly. Talking about voids, um, you know, you have a gap. You want to put a, down a piece of flashing that fits properly 
proper lap, not just fill it with caulk and call it a day. Um, it might work fine for a while, but eventually that's going to fail. Um, a lot of the sealants break down with UV exposure. So, you know, anytime you have exposed sealant, it's eventually going to fail um, and your roof system is going to have issues. I mean, we've seen some just piled on goops of sealant, you know, when we're out there uh, checking roofs and things like that and we haven't corrected because yeah, I mean, if you have to use a half a tube of sealant on something, that's that's obviously not the answer. Yeah, you want to take it. You want to make the flashing that fits properly, seal it properly, and and not count on gun caulk on a 50, 60 year plus roof system. Well, it goes back to really why why you're using caulk, and you're not using it to seal the entire building off, right? And the metal is what does that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So let's talk about testing. When we talk uh, engineering and you're actually testing assemblies, when is sealant used in those in those test assemblies? Uh, so there's two main ones that we come across. Um, ASTME 2140 is submersion testing. Um, this is for mechanical profiles. Snap blocks won't pass it because, you know, the nature of the design of the panel. But um, sealant can be inserted into the corner of the female leg. And when the panel is seamed together, it creates a watertight seal in between it. They actually take and submerge the panel under six inches of water for six hours, and it acts as a hydrostatic water holding test. Um, you're going to see that on low slope applications. Anything below a 212 is usually when we require sealing in the seams. Um, you know, we tested with gun caulk. Um, so it, we are able to offer our customers who don't have a hot melt system. A hot melt actually takes in it, inserts uh, beta sealant, beta hot melt butyl sealant um, as the panel's being formed. Not everybody has that piece of equipment. So we did it with gun caulk as an option. You know, the one thing with the sealant, to be using the gun caulk, if you're not using a non-curing butyl, is if your caulking's gonna set up, you wanna make sure you get that seamed before that sealant sets up. Otherwise, you're never gonna get it to 180 degree seam. But that would be probably the most often time we see it as far as testing is yep. concerned. <clears throat> the other one is the uh, TAS 100 wind driven rain test. They have a simulation of 8.8 .8 inches of rainfall at uh, an hour. Um, and they actually have a prop engine that takes and drives this rain into a roof assembly with a valley, a high side ridge, different flashing components. So obviously those are gonna have to be installed with sealant and things like that. So uh, you, know, you can create that leak free status. Um, the only other time that you really see sealant and it's not always required is in the ASTM 1646 water penetration test, which is a sprinkler test. Um, some snap blocks can't pass without them uh, due to the design, but 90% of the time you can get out, uh, get away without having to have sealant in those seams. So those are the three main ones as far as testing that we see sealant required and the type of sealant and the application of the sealant is dictated. You know, we're getting close to, uh, we're in winter now in Ohio. Um, for sealants that have to cure, is there a minimum temperature that you can install those to cure properly? There is, and it depends on the product that you're using, and it will be on the packaging um, as far as what temperatures you can install it, as far as, you know, high temperature, low temperature, and it will also give you a curing time. Okay. So based on the temperature, it might cure faster or slower, uh, depending on the product you're using. Yep. So Tim, if you've got a metal roofing installation, where would you get the sealants, caulkings that you need for your install? Yeah, here at Sheffield, we're a one-stop shop. So when it comes to sealants, we have it all for your engineered systems and for your non-engineered systems. Um, like I said before, that has all the colors, 35 different colors. Um, and we have all the different types of uh, tape sealants. Um, uh, if you guys need butyl or hot melt, we can also sell that and it's available through Sheffield. Cool, and like Jeff said, uh, all the details have um, you know, listed out where the sealant needs to be applied, where the butyl tape needs to be applied. Um, it's very easy to see in the details. You do a great job there. Well, thanks guys, really appreciate it. Comment down below if you have any more questions. We love answering them every Monday here on the Metal Roofing Channel. Subscribe if you want more. I'm Thad Barnett, and as always, I'll catch you next time.